All right, welcome back to Hyperlight Drifter. That I'm calling round one. Last time, all of that was round one. Now, it's round two. Now, it's the actual one. Now, I get serious or whatever. Let's do this. I've got my warm up. I'm ready to go. I know the guy's patterns. I know not to get greedy here. I got greedy here, but it worked out. Holy crap. Not the ideal start. Oh god, this is bad. Kill it quick. Yep, there we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, still getting a little bit too greedy. That was not in the plans, damn it. Ah, I both dashed the wrong way and attacked wrong. Huh. Well, I couldn't do it first try this new episode. That's... That's too bad. Oh, man. Yeah, sometimes those, like, align perfectly, and sometimes they kind of don't. And sometimes this fucking revolver doesn't hit at all. Oh man! Okay, we're good. Oh man! Okay, we're good. Oh man! Okay, we're good! Holy crap! This is not good. This is rough. There we go. So phase one, probably. Now phase two. Oh, I finished him off. Stabbed him in the eyeball. That cannot have been it, right? Come on, you gotta have a face too. You gotta have a face too! Are we just escaping now? Island is sinking. The sky is falling. Oh god, what's happening? Am I trying to get out? Should I heal up? I can't. I cannot heal up. He just coughs when I try to heal up. Oh, the dog! The dog is trying to lead me. And yeah, I cannot pick up health kits. I can't use health kits. I'm just coughing and coughing. Yeah, even when he's like walking normally now? No, he's not. Never mind. Well, at least it's not a car enough time where all the fucking rocks would be killing you over and over. Oh, bully! Achievement unlocked. I think that's like killing all the bosses in the game. Ah, so there are no more bosses. That's a shame. I was actually hoping for like a phase two and maybe even... I was honestly hoping for four phases because they were... As far as I could tell, like four... Four was the magic number in this game. So wait, what was the point of going there if you were just gonna lie down and die? Hi, dog. Still don't know what the hell the significance of the dog door is. Am I dead? I'm dead. And that's it! Wow. Is that a misspelling of his name, or is he actually Elks? I don't know, I thought it was Alex. 
I've been talking to him a little bit. Huh. Well, as I said, I can't really comment too much on the story, because it's very, like, open for interpretation, I suppose. Like, did he die? Probably. Maybe not. What was the point of walking out of the collapsing laboratory when you were just gonna sit down and die anyway? Or was that a dream sequence? I mean, it was kind of surreal. What is real? What is not? Who fucking knows? Also, when we came to the town, the first time there was that, like, cliff where you overlooked it. And as far as I could tell, there was, like, a floating island. Or maybe that wasn't it. Maybe that was something else, but... I thought the, the middle, the center, would, like, take us to the floating island, but it took us down into a science lab. So I don't quite know, like, what was the significance, or what the significance was of the floating thing that got dissolved in the end, or... I don't even know. And the fucking dog! What was up with the dog? What is the doggy door? Where does the doggy door lead? Maybe... Maybe it'll be more explained if I do the whole tablet thing. I'm hoping so, but I don't know. We'll have to see, I suppose. And well, as far as the game itself goes, I... I love it. I think it's great. I think it's a great game, but I have my complaints, as always. Of course, I've been bitching about a lot of stuff during the, the Let's Play, but overall, I really enjoy this game. I love the look, I love the soundtrack, I love the mechanics, it feels very solid. There are a couple of instances where you feel like you're not really in control, like it dashes where you didn't want to dash, you shoot where you didn't want to shoot, and stuff like that, but... I actually feel like it might be better played on a keyboard and mouse, but I'm not sure I'm going to. I said I might do keyboard and mouse for like the second playthrough, not quite sure about that. I don't know if I could actually get used to it because it's such a dramatic switch and everything was working fine on a gamepad. So I don't know. But beyond that, I mean, the main thing that I always have to bring it back to that is like the, the elephant in the room, 30 FPS, it is a shame. As I've said, I am very disappointed. This game would have been 10 times better if it was 60 FPS instead of 30, because it does feel choppy at times. When you get into it, when you're used to it, it's fine, but when you've been playing like a 60 FPS game and then you come to this, it feels really choppy, like it's not running like it should. Oh, shit. Oh, I accidentally hit the my analog stick and it like fucked stuff up. I'm not sure if I got the pacing right. Oh god, the credits are all ruined. Well, so much for that. That's an odd mechanic to have. You can like pause and go back in the credits if you want. But yeah, really though, really though, it would have been amazing if this was 60 FPS. I really think so. And it is an objective down downside to the game. It's not make or break. It's not like people are going, oh, 30 FPS, this is garbage, like, what a shitty game, and unplayable. I don't think it's that bad, but it would objectively be a lot better if it actually went all the way up to 60 or even higher, like, if it wasn't completely capped to the frame rate and completely reliant on whatever frame rate the game is coded to, or whatever. Probably, uh... A limitation of Game Maker, which I believe the game was made in. I personally don't really... From what I know, I'm not a programmer, but from what I know, Game Maker doesn't seem to be the best tool for making games. It seems just kind of kind of easy to handle, but then... If you actually want to make good stuff, it's probably not your best... Best alternative, I would say, but I don't know. But yeah couple of things, couple of bosses, couple of enemies that I think are a little bit, like, too random and stuff, where you can- Oh my god, so many fucking Alexis. Holy crap. Where you can't really do anything about it, you can't really control certain things, and the whole, like, stun lock mechanic where you can't escape, and you can't heal, and you can't block or whatever, there's no blocking. Yeah, and... 
upgrades could have been improved a little bit, like in the early game, it was very hard to tell what you wanted and what was actually a good idea for you to get with your hard-earned little gear bits and stuff. Would have been nice if there was a more comprehensive, like, this is what this thing you're buying is going to do for you. Or if you could test them out in the shop or whatever. I don't know. But yeah, man. Otherwise, pretty fucking good. Thank you very much again to, uh... Oh, fuck. Oh, God. What were you called again? Uh... Oh shit, what are they called? Hyperlight Drifters Developers? I'm sorry, I can't remember. But thank you a lot because I would not be playing this game if not for, for them. I actually got the game as a review code and I've had a great time and I hope you've had a great time watching. It's been a fun journey, but it does not end here because well, I'm hoping they did something interesting with uh, New Game Plus, because it's called like... Uh, what was the achievement called? It was called something like, oh, sadist or masochist or something like that. Just like, oh, you're gonna hate yourself for this. And that makes me feel like, okay, there's something different about it. But maybe it's just like everything has 40 billion health and you have... You die in one hit or whatever, like bullshit, artificial difficulty stuff. But I don't know, I guess we'll see. I'm gonna try it out because... Hopefully it'll be a different experience and stuff. And yeah, beyond that, I'm not sure if there are any other achievements that I haven't gotten. I'll have to check and get those. Oh yeah, I haven't found like all the gear bits. And I didn't find the keys. There are two more keys somewhere in the world. Oh man, I might have to do that on my own time. Like, just travel through the entire world again and again and just until I can find pretty much all the remaining stuff I guess okay can we like speed this up a little bit I think I'm pretty much done talking I bet these are all just backers holy shit holy shit Holy shit, so much credits. Oh, there we go. And now... Hyperlight Drifter. New game plus. But we can load it. Oh, oh, what is this? What is this? Oh man, I kind of want to like, before I fuck with anything, I wanted to save a backup of this, but eh, then I would have to like redo the recording and that's kind of annoying. Well, I guess it's not because I'm not syncing stuff anymore. Um, yeah, I'm going to make a backup before I fuck anything up here and probably transfer the save over here and stuff. So give me just one moment. And there we go. Now I got two saves. Hooray. So now... We can see what happens when I, like, go in here. This is it just, like... Yeah, what's gonna happen? Oh! Oh shit, there's more to it? I'm dead. I can't really press anything. Is this it? You just watch your hero? There's a skeleton. I am pressing all the keys. Healing, dashing, interacting, shooting, attacking. Nothing is happening. What's the point? Why would you do this? And I, I can't use mouse controls because I don't... I've already... Like, enabled the gamepad. What is the point of this? I'm very curious. Maybe it is, like, when you do the... The remaining thing. What is happening? Huh. Strange. 
What was that sound about? Okay, and if I load this, where will we spawn in? So is it right before the fight? Probably. Oh, yep, it is. Damn it. Uh, can I get the fuck out? Teleport away! I can't. Nope, I can't. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna fight you again! Just for fun. And I'm not gonna heal and probably die. I should have been doing that. I haven't even been using that. Oh my god, I got him fucking first try without healing. I am a god. Holy crap. That was pretty impressive. Can I teleport out now? I cannot. Nope. I have to finish him off. Shoot you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. And then... Bam. Just some BM. Some good old BM. Yeah. Well, I can't start or pause the game anymore. Well, that's the way you do fight him. Just in case you wanted to know. Yep, I can't I can't press start. I can't do anything. I shouldn't have done this. God damn it. I shouldn't have done it. Um one moment. I'll be right back. Unskippable credits and unskippable cutscenes. Why? Oh, dear. Ah! Finally! Yes! Quit the title! Do it! Oh my god! Wow! Okay, now, quickly, we don't have too much time left in this episode, but I just want to see what will happen if we go to the tablet place and do the, the, like, New Game Plus thing or whatever it is. I don't even know. Oh no, wait, not New Game Plus. I mean, like, true ending. Or what, what that's gonna be, I have no idea. Oh! Oh right, no, this is where, where we were. Ah, oh, right, okay. So I guess it wasn't like a, a dream that we walked out and sat down there. And I think I can just teleport. Should've been doing that, right? Yeah, we'll just check this out quickly and if it's anything major... Oh my god, I fucking hate those like pop-in dudes. If it's anything major like... I get into a giant dungeon looking thing or a uh how do I do I go up here again I think I remember or if it's like a boss fight then I'm probably gonna leave it for next time and well next time we'll in that case do that and then probably just head into either either I'll we'll see what I can do in between the episodes maybe I can find the remaining like things that I haven't found that would be that would be nice I can probably, if, worst case scenario, if I don't find anything when I go through the entire world one more time, I can just look it up. But I would like to find it on my own if I can, so I'll give it a shot. But, yeah, we'll, we'll see if I can find anything, if we can uncover the remaining stuff. Ah, yeah, it's like mimicking this. Oh, interesting. Huh. Yeah, really love the the world and the graphics and the art style of this game. It's fucking gorgeous. But yeah, if there are no more achievements or secrets to find, then we'll probably just go into New Game Plus and check what that's all about.
Ow. I'm gonna die to these guys. After that whole boss fight, I'm gonna die to random enemies. Right here, you can see there's a floating island. That is definitely like a floating island. So I don't know what that's about. Maybe it's like a hint because it's here and we're going to the tablet room. So maybe the tablet room will have something to do with like going into the, the floating island or making the floating island sink. I don't know. Or fall, I should say. And, yep, we got all of them. And let's see what happens. Really? Really? It's... It's just a set? Really? It's just a set. It's an outfit. That's it? That's why we've been collecting all these tablets? Throughout the entire game? Really? What? What? That's a bit... Meh? I mean, I'm thinking, like, first, first thought is maybe it's like a special outfit, and maybe if we wear it, when you beat the game, something else will happen, but maybe not. That's a bit odd. And yeah, as I've said, we also have, like, so many gear bits and nothing to spend it on. Everything is upgraded, and I've got everything maxed out. It's kind of odd. And I don't have all the outfits. Yeah, there we go. I don't think anything is gonna happen. I don't think it's a special outfit. I don't know. Huh. Well, I mean, off camera, I guess I'll try beating the game again with this outfit on, but I really don't think it'll change anything, but... Past that, yeah, I'll, I'll look into secrets and achievements, and next time we'll try to do those and possibly go into New Game Plus. I wonder if some of the outfits might be only in New Game Plus. I don't know, but... Yeah, I kind of don't want to go into New Game Plus until I'm fully done with New Game and getting all the gear bits, all the keys, all the things like that, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this entire series up until this point, if you have. And, well, I hope you will join me for New Game Plus and all the shenanigans, but otherwise, if you don't, if you just came here for the story and for the, well, the lack of story, but, you know, like the initial progression and playing through the game, then thank you for watching and possibly I'll see you in another game sometime. For the rest of you, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!